Hey, what's up guys? This is Born for PVM, and this is going to be a little informative video on the Royal Crossbow. So a few things I'll talk about this video, um, how to obtain the Royal Crossbow, how to brand it, how to repair it, how much the pieces are currently going for, um, what happens if you destroy it or die with it, and etc. So the first thing I'd like to show you is what happens when you destroy your Royal Crossbow. If you destroy your Royal Crossbow, you will lose it forever and not be compensated for the pieces. So again, do not destroy the Royal Crossbow thinking you'll get your four pieces back because it's not true. So if you're still watching this video, you probably want to make your own Royal Crossbow at some point, or you're contemplating doing so. So first thing you're going to need to do is complete the quest Song of the Depths. If you've completed the quest, you should already have your Coral Crossbow, but if you did destroy or lose your Coral Crossbow, you can reobtain one for Sir Rebrum as I just did on screen. On another note, you cannot reobtain your Coral Crossbow if you made it into a Royal Crossbow, which means you cannot have two Royal Crossbows at one time, nor can you have one Royal and one Coral Crossbow at the same time. I put up some various ways of getting back to Sir Rebrum if you want to go get your Coral Crossbow. Uh, you can tell it to the Remington House Portal and run east, you can tell it to the Port Serum Lodestone and run northwest, or you can just use your Remora's Necklace to tell you straight to him. Okay, now you should have your Coral Crossbow, and now I'm going to show you how much the pieces are currently going for. So if you look at the top right, uh, left hand corner sorry, of the screen, you can see what the pieces' names are, so you can properly type them in the GE and buy them. Um, they all bought for 5 mil, except for the last one bought for 10 mil. And real quickly, I'll show you my history for proof, I guess. And yeah, that's what they're currently buying for. I just bought them. You could probably get them for cheaper if you left offers in overnight. And yeah, so about 5 mil each, I would say. Okay, so if you've got your four pieces and your coral crossbow, take them to Thurgo, uh, who is just south of the Port Serum Lodestone. Go through the dialogue, and he'll make it into a royal crossbow unforged. Also, while the royal crossbow is unforged, you can still split it to get your four pieces back in case you change your mind or something like that. And now for the final step of getting your royal crossbow, you need to brand it, which is by far the hardest step. you got to get to the final phase of the Queen Black Dragon, which is three of the four artifacts lit, as you can see above the HP bar. And then you need to wait for this message in your chat box, which says, The Queen Black Dragon gathers her strength to breathe extremely hot flames. I suggest that you put your game filter on, that way you don't get spammed with your brew messages, as those will not go through the filter, however the Queen Black Dragon's attacks will. Now instead of looking for the words in the chat box, I highly suggest that you just look at the colors. So for example, this attack happens to be orange, so what you want to do is look for the orange message in your chat box, and when you get that, you want to face the QBD as soon as you get that message and hold up the crossbow by branding it, which is the left click option on it in your inventory, and she will use the extremely hot flames to brand your crossbow. And now I'm going to show you myself doing it. So what I did is I got in front of the QBD. You don't want to be too far to the side or too far back where it might not work. As soon as you get the orange message in your chat box, left click the crossbow in your inventory to hold it up in front of her. And again, make sure you're facing her or, or it will not work. And it also doesn't matter if you die because as you can see on screen, I got dropped. Um, I did forget my anti-fire. However, it still completed the crossbow because as you can see, it says the green text. It says my crossbow is now complete. And uh, yeah, you can just go back to your grave and get it if you do happen to die during that. Or just remember your anti-fire and don't be a noob like me. So I went ahead and went to Dagonoth to see how fast it degrades. And in a multi-way combat zone, while always attacking a Dagonoth at some point, it took about 2 minutes and 30 seconds to degrade 1%. And a few more things I'd like to say about the Royal Crossbow. First off, you can leave it in your grave. It's not like uh, Goliath Gloves or Comp Capes and that sort of thing. It won't turn into coins. It will stay the same. And you can just pick it up off your grave as normal. Okay, and one last thing I'd like to mention. And that is if your crossbow reaches 0 charges... Uh, you can have Thurgo repair it. I'm not certain on the price, and I'm not 100% certain on if it will need to be rebranded or not. Um, it probably won't be, because I think once you do uh, combine the pieces to it, you lose them forever. Um, maybe you can degrade it to 0% to get the pieces back, though. So I'm not 100% certain on that. And one last thing I'd like to mention, and that is in about 4-5 to five hours, I'll try to get out the Royal Crossbow vs. Other Bosses video. I know I already did the God Wars bosses, however I still have to do next, Calfight Queen, and Torment of Demons, and that sort of thing. I've already got the footage, I just gotta edit it and put it together and get the figures for it and try to find out if it's better. So uh, yeah, uh, hopefully I'll have that out in about 4-5 to five hours, and thanks for watching this video, hope you enjoyed, and yeah, see you then, or maybe tomorrow.